Cruz, John Travolta, 2,097 stars on this walk of fame, but no mention of the greatest comedic genius of the century, Felix the Cat. That wonderful, wonderful cat. <laughs> Lassie, they gave him a star? He read his lines off Timmy's shoes. Very unprofessional. <laughs> Poor Felix, 60 years in showbiz and zero recognition. Well, that all changes now. standing next to my locker and he walks up to me and says you want to go out are you dying uh, gotta go travis who's mm it's uh nobody mom no that would be nm <laughs> mm however is staring you right in the face Magic man, it's me. You have a crush on me. I'm so flattered. How will I let her down gently without destroying her fragile psyche? It's not you. What? It's Mitch Morrison, isn't it? Because I really wanted it to be me. Mitch Morrison? He's 16 and he drives a motorcycle. And he also got kicked out of school. I can see a vein in your head. Uh, it's really not as bad as it sounds. He's 16, drives a motorcycle, and got kicked out of school. Now make it sound good. Mom? I'm not saying no, I just want to meet him. He's bad news, Mom. My guess is he killed somebody. I think you did the right thing. Thanks, Travis. I'm gonna go see if she's okay. Good for you, Travis. You're sticking up for your mom and you're watching out for your sister. Just for that, I'm going to grant you a wish. I thought you weren't allowed to grant wishes for me. Well, I'm not supposed to, but I'm feeling crazy. You did a nice thing, and I'm going to pay you off because material reward for human kindness is the message of today. Choose wisely. Now, you can have anything that you want in the world, anything at all. I need you to choose wisely. An ice cream cone. Good boy! I would have chosen North America, but you're you, and I like you. Woo! Wow! Let's keep this between ourselves, shall we? Hey, cool ice cream cone. Where'd you get it? Jeannie snapped it up for me. Ate it in the kitchen. You're not supposed to be doing that, you know. It's an ice cream cone. He's not your master. The big, big book of, uh, of Jeannie says you're not all, all supposed to be doing that. Why not? That's the rules. I don't play by the rules. Oh, you gotta play by the rules. <laughs> Why? Because that's not the rules. There are rules about rules, you know. I ain't gonna win this, am I? No. <laughs> hey. What's this? Sign here to get Felix a star on the Walk of Fame. Felix who? <laughs> the cat. The wonderful, wonderful cat. You talk? To you, yeah, because you guys are genies. How'd you know? Because anybody else that heard me talk would go, ah! <laughs> Look, I need a thousand signatures, and Felix gets his star. I like Felix. And that clock that used to go. <laughs> I had a clock like that back in the 1950s. Boy, those were simpler times, and I miss them. It's time for that I Love Lucy show. <laughs> Make sure we get a good picture. I hope this is the one where she stomps on the grapes. <laughs> well, you can get a better picture than that. Perfect. I don't know how people got along before modern technology. <laughs> you got some splendor to do, Salem. We're in the 1950s. Wow. Hey. Hi, Mitch. Hey. Hey. Did I hear a doorbell? Oh, don't tell me. You must be Mitch. Mickey's told us all about your age, motorbike, and school problems. But her psycho mom. So we should be going. Well, well. 
Look what the cat dragged in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I know you? It's my dopey kid brother, Norm. You don't remember me, huh? Well, maybe this here will ring some bells. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Wedgie Boy from the schoolyard. Hey, hey, break it up, cats. Fighting ain't cool, dig? I'm telling you, it's this hostility, the struggle, the conflict that's gonna burn this world down. Why don't you just hop on your little scooter and crawl under whatever rock it is you call home? It's a Harley, man. Nobody puts down my bike. Hey, the hand with the shirt. All right, you made your point, man, but I feel that pain. Mickey, take your date and have a nice time. Date? You're dating this loser? He's my honey bear, and he sends me. I'll send him. Hey, hey, I'll have none of that language in my home. <laughs> Go have fun, you two. And Mickey, remember, I trust you. Don't let me down. Mom! You gotta stop her. I know this guy. He's in the fast lane to Nowheresville. Apparently, he's misunderstood. Well, better go change my frock and put on my evening pearls. <laughs> hey, Travis, don't sweat it. I'm gonna take care of this. You better, Jeannie. Or I will. <laughs> what will I do? What will I do? You'll do nothing. Hey, Pops. The little gal's in danger, and Travis up there is cruising for a bruiser. Now, you listen, listen to me, you crazy next up kid. Forget... Forget about your feelings. You can't do a gosh darn thing without your master wishing you to do so. Oh, you are rattling my cage, man. You are bringing me down. Oh, you, you punk kids with your bebop music and your freewheeling ways. Do you know why your ways are free to be wheeling free? Because of me and other G.I. genies just like me. Oh, no, not right. another war That's story. That's right, WW2. <laughs> right. The second biggest war. The second war to end all wars. I was in the special genie G.I. forces in the, in the trenches of Southern Italy. I, I had to drink their wine and eat their spaghetti every single day. I, I sat in the trenches and, uh, where am I going with this? Are you LES, brother? That's it. Rules, rules. You can't be a genie unless you follow the genie rules. Yeah, I got you, old man. You're coming in loud and loud. Where do you think you are going? Out. Out where? Out of the business. Listen to me, man. If I can't be a genie the way I want to be, the way I got to be, then I'm going to make like a tree and leaf. Ah! You crazy kids and your mixed up sayings. How do you ever expect to turn a buck? Well, I, I'd, I'd give up the magic business and I'd, I'd make music. Whew. Jazz music. I'm going to let the music of my soul ascend to the heaven. <laughs> You walk out that door and you break the golden genie rule of not walking out that door. <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> Spaghetti every single day for that. And where do you think you're going? I'm going to the malt shop, Ma. Now, Travis, I know that your only concern that your sister is out with the wrong kind of boy. I've seen him pitching pennies in the boys' room, Ma. This isn't about him, Travis. We have to trust that your sister will make the right decision. Oh, there's my pot roast. Excuse me. And I have to make the right decision, too. Hey, pal. Give me the phone. <laughs> Give me the phone. <laughs> now, dial O. <laughs> now, get me a fish. Operator, get me Sabrina Spellman. Long, 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 long distance. It's out there, I tell you. 
my place in this world. I want to be part of the beat. Just me and my Harley rolling down Route 66, living in the present with the past just a moment behind me. You are so deep. <laughs> Kiss me. I knew I'd find you two up here at make-out point. Making out? Lying. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I know you? I'm Travis. <laughs> oh, yeah, where'd you boy? Hey, what you doing all the way up there, little fella? Defending my sister's honor, that's what. You're ruining the mood. Good. Hop in the basket. I'm taking you home. <laughs> oh, you got a basket on your bike? Well, maybe I got a paper route. What's it to you? Yeah, well, it looks like a girl's bike. All right, now you've gone too far. <laughs> oh, no, please. Don't fight over me. If you want to rumble? You got to rumble, little man. Meet me at the train tracks at midnight. And that's past my bedtime. <laughs> right here, right now, then. You and me in a chicken race. First one to ditch his wheels loses. And let this bike go over the cliff? Are you cracked? I sold 500 copies of Grit for this bike. A drag race, then. First one to dead man's drop wins. Ready, go! <laughs> you race on your bike, Travis? I can't believe he's my brother. Now, Grandpa, you promised to be nice. Yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> One mice is mouse. Two mice is Mises. Dynamite blows my doggy to pieces. <laughs> like, dig. I don't get it. Why'd the doggy have to die? Ah. Faces from other places. Check it, folks. This next poem's going out to my Grandpa Max. It's called, You Drove Me to This, Grandpa Max. I wonder what this one's gonna be about. You drove me to this, Grandpa Max. You made my life a drag, man. Tangled up in rules. But the times they are are changing. And I'm like a rolling stone. So if you want somebody to follow your rules, it ain't me, babe. <laughs> All right, now I see you, Zimmerman. Put the pen down. I rename myself after a famous poet. I'm Bob, Elizabeth, Barry Brown. All right, enough of these monkey shines. Grandson, it's time to put down that horn and pick up your responsibilities. Ooh. Hey, man, your words are harsh. Why don't you make like the wind and blow? Ah, <laughs> oh, you punk kids and your whacked out sayings. Now, come on, you beatniks, hear him out. I was young once, and I understand your need to, to rebel and express yourself like the rest of these lost and searching, poetic, jobless, lefty, pinko scum. <laughs> now cut that out. Hey, man, I'm one of them. Nothing you say is going to change my mind. Grandson, your family is in trouble. What? Trouble? Oh, Piff. Mickey's out with a rebellious teenage boy that Travis wants to beat up with a chain, but I trust my children to do the right thing. And so do I. Okay, Zimmerman. Now's your chance. Just a hunch.
that kid? Told ya! I gotta pay for her! Hey kids, let's go down to the finish line. <laughs> Sweetie, how's the date going? Uh. Mickey, where's your brother? Uh. Oh, God heavens, it's Travis. Oh, he's headed right for Dead Man's Drop. I'm going down there to stop this. No, you can't. The rules say your master has to wish for you to do that. Yeah, my master brought a picnic basket to a death race. I'm saving Travis. Here's what I think of your rules. You know, kid, anyone who can pedal a three-speed bike as fast as my Harley and keep up a conversation is okay in my book. Back at ya! So, see it is not one of us is riding to our death there, I was just wondering, why'd they kick you out of school? All right, well, since I can't shake you, kid, I'll level with you. I got kicked out because I wasn't legally living in the district. That's it? Yeah. I'll thank you not to tell your sister, however, as it would appreciably diminish my rebel standing, and I'd like to remain cool in her eyes. You really like my sister? Yeah, she's a nice girl. Birth to Earth! Womb to tomb. I did it. A thousand signatures. All I gotta do is turn the petition in, and Felix will have his long-deserved star. <laughs> Look at that view! Love the 50s. Less crowd, less smog, more drag races. More drag races?! Chet! That is one cool cat. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. He broke the genie rules for the last time. What are you saying? I'm saying that I don't, I don't get your poetry and I don't understand your, your, your long hair and your improvisational saxophonic ramblings, but you're a good genie. And so I... I guess you write your own rules. It's your world now. So, make like a milk and shake. <laughs> you punk kids with your whacked out sayings. Excuse me. I'm Sabrina. I'm a witch. I'm looking for a black cat named Salem. He called and said he was here. You're genies, aren't you? How would you know that? Because if you weren't and I said I was a witch, you would have gone, ah! That. Mom, I found out why Mitch got kicked out of school. And he's not such a bad guy after all. You mean because he doesn't live in the district? You knew? Well, honey, I am president of the PTA, and I've already redrawn the district boundaries, so first thing Monday morning, Mitch is back in school. Yeah! Gee, that's swell. But, uh, you probably won't want to go out with me anymore since I'm not a rebel or nothing. Mitch, the whole reason I wanted to go out with you is because cause you're a nice guy. Of course, the motorcycle doesn't hurt. Hey. Where is my bike? Well, I'm glad everyone's okay. Now I'll just get Salem and we can make like a rug and roll. <laughs> Come on, it was my first try. Well, I can get Salem and we can get you guys back to the 90s. Salem! Salem! Oh, no, I lost him again. Let's hit the beach, baby. I hear the tuna are running in Santa Monica. My cat! My bike! Great. 
You ran off again. I don't suppose any of you have a broom? Or better yet, a vacuum? I have a bike? That'll work. I'll get it back to you. Put down the pen, Spielberg. Try moving a smidge to your left. <laughs> ha! That's better. <sighs> Modern technology. 864 channels. Movies, comedy, drama. So many wonderful choices. I hope this is the one where she stomps on the grapes. <laughs> <laughs>